Hi and welcome to another My Maths walkthrough. Uh, this is task 260, sum of angles in a polygon. Uh, it's not just in a polygon, there's exterior angles and uh, interior angles we're talking about here. Now the two results to know is the interior angles, um, they'll tell us to where, where to work them out is just to the number of sides, take away two, and then just times that by 180, then you get the uh, answer for the inside angles of a polygon, what they'll all add up to or sum to. The exterior angles, the nicest thing about those things is it doesn't matter what shape it is, they're always going to add up to 360. Um, so that's always a brilliant result. And another result is that the inside angle, one inside angle plus one outside angle, is always going to be 180 degrees uh, because they're two angles on a straight line. And we'll see that in a second. Okay, so they're the results I'm going to use. Here we go. So let's start. We've got find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with 37 sides. So the inside angles, all we do is uh, the number of sides take away two and we times that by 180 and then you get your answer for the inside angles what they'll all add up to sum means what do they all add up to so 37 to take away two is 35 i can do that in my head so 35 times 180 is 6300 so that's what those angles add up to 6300 degrees next one <coughs> we've got uh, find a regular polygon a regular polygon is 36 sides Find the size of each, each interior angle, so the inside angles this time. So what I'm doing here is uh, the inside angles again, the inside uh, angles are going to be 36, so 36 sides, 36 angles, take away 2, uh, times by 180, so I get that one, so 36 take away 2, 36 take away 2, times by 180 is uh, 6,120, 6,120 degrees, uh, but it says find the size of each this one here, each interior angle. Now I know there's 36 of them and they're all going to add up to this one so one of them must be 6120 divided by 36 and that will tell me how much one is so I do 6120 and I divide that by 36 and I get 170 degrees so each angle there is 170 degrees. End of that one. Next one, <coughs> each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30 degrees. How many sides does it have? Uh, so we know the exterior angles have to add up to 360 so we're going to have exterior, we've got 360 degrees on the outside, and how many 30s make 360? So we divide this by 30 uh, degrees, and we get the total number of angles, so 360 divided by 30 is 12, so there's 12 angles, and therefore there must be 12 sides. Okay. The sum of the interior angles is 9180, uh, how many sides does it have? Uh, so this is a regular polygon. So we've got interior angles, we've got the number of sides to take away 2, times by 180 is 9180 okay degrees um, right so what do I need to times by 180 to get 9180 that's my next question so all I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna divide by 180 over here so I've got the number of sides to take away 2 must be 9180 divided by 180 which is 51 51 uh, now I'll think about this one. So if the number of sides to take away 2 is 51, what must the number of sides be? Let's just add this to this side. So the number of sides must be 53. Okay. Then uh, So 53 take away 2 times 180 must be that one. So let's have a look. Uh, 53 sides take away 2 times by 180 equals 9,180, which is what I was working towards. Okay, so that's all the wordy questions. Uh, the next one <coughs> I've got over here. So I've drawn the two diagrams out. Um, I always like to have diagrams drawn out so I can actually write on them. Um, and I'm trying to figure out X. Now X is an inside angle. Uh, so let's get all the inside angles to start with. So here, this, I want to know what this angle is here. Now what I know is, if I go all the way around the point, I've got 360. So the inside one, if the outside one is 141, uh, we've got um, 141, no we haven't, we've got 360 take away 141. Okay, 219. So 219 there. Um, <coughs> now this one, we've got um, the at a point on a line, on a straight line, they've got add up 180. That makes that one 150. And then at a point on a line, these two here, must add up 180. That makes that 138. So that was just 180. Take away the 42, 138. Uh, next job is I've got to find out, because uh, I've got all the angles now on the inside, but this one. So if I can figure out what they're supposed to add up to, then I can get that one right. 
So, so far, let's see what I've got so far. We've got 138 plus 109 plus 142. Add on the 150. Add on the 126. Add on the 219. And then add on the 70 at the end there. So, so far, I've got 9,500, uh, sorry, 954, 9,000, what was that there? Notice I didn't add that one, I didn't add this one, I didn't add that one in because they're not on the inside of the uh, shape. I'm going to the inside. Right, how many sides is there now? Let's have a look. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides on this shape. So the inside angles, let's move the camera a bit so I can move the book. So eight sides. So the inside angles are going to be 8 take away 2, number of sides take away 2, times 180. So that's 6 times 180, isn't it? 6 times 180, which is 1080, which equals 1080 degrees. Right, now, um, so I know that's what they should add to, and I know that's what I've got so far. So x must equal the what they should add up to, take away what I've got so far, which equals... <clears throat> so 1080 take away 954 is 126 degrees and uh, that's the end of that question now uh, just having a quick look it does look about 126 degrees I can't measure that at all because I just drew it out uh, and diagrams are not drawn accurately so even if this looked like less than 90 I'd probably still go with that one because the technique's right uh, but generally even though diagrams are not drawn accurately they sort of give you some sort of clue as to where it should be about so that's generally what happens in diagrams Right, the second shape is a bit weird. Uh, it's got this dotted line. What that means is both sides are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on the bottom half because that's where all the information is. So if I just quickly draw that out, so the bottom bit only. So I'll go along here, uh, go to some random point over here, let's say there. Um, doesn't have to be correct this now. Uh, and I'm going to draw this line in down here somewhere and then I'm going to draw that one up there. So that's roughly what that looks like uh, drawn out again. So I know inside here is... 31. I know this one's 86, and I know this one's actually 10 over here. All right, and I'm going to try and find this one here. So it's 10 because it's half of 20, isn't it? Right. So then we've got uh, this angle on the inside. Remember, these two are going to come to 360 because they go all the way around a point. Um, so we've got uh, 360. Take away this 86, and I get 274. So that one there is 274. Um, right, so next one we've got, um, we need to figure out how many sides I've got. So on this shape I've now got one, two, three, four sides. So four sides. So the inside angles are going to be uh, four take away two, two times 180 equals 360 degrees on the inside. Uh, so, so far what have I got? I've got 274. Uh, 274 plus 31 plus 10 so so far I've got 315 315 so this angle here is going to be 360 take away 315 okay so that's got to be 45 degrees in there so 45 degrees in there now if I go back to the actual question uh, what I noticed is I actually just chopped that half didn't I so it's not 45, x isn't 45, x must be 2 45s because they're both the same, x must be 90 degrees. And that's it for sum of angles in a polygon, task 260. Have a go with yours.